Oh my god, why does my eye look like I have a lazy eye? Hey you guys, welcome back. <sighs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys don't already know, my name is Belle. Um, if you guys can already tell by the title and my intro, you guys already know what's going on. Pretty much I'm gonna be giving you guys a life update. How I'm like in Atlanta and just, you know, what's been going on in my life. You know, just all the tea. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I've definitely been MIA on YouTube for a couple months now. Um, I have just been so overwhelmed. We are gonna be doing a get ready with me because I wanna look cute. I'm about to go get Juicy Crab after this, so why not? I might be looking over here a little bit because I have my iPad. I like set up the thing on my iPad where you can see like, you know, what's going on. But it's, it's a little confusing because I'm looking here, but I should be looking there. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking at you guys. If you see me looking to the corner, it's because you you know what's going on. So anyways, we're gonna start with my brows. Um, I just got my lashes done, guys, and honestly, they're too thick. This eye, I look like I got a lazy eye. Like, I literally look like I got a lazy eye. Um, I do not like it, so yeah, I've literally been brushing my lashes every chance I get because um, yeah, I look like I got a lazy eye. So I'm gonna start off with my brows. I don't know if I should really do that on camera because my brows take a while, but if I cut it and then come back, it's cause they were taking me too long to do. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna get into is how Atlanta has been. So, Atlanta's been different, okay? Um, it's been real different. Um, it's definitely been a change for me, especially because, um, yeah, I think I should do my brows off camera. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, my brows are done, clearly. Um, so yeah, let's get into the tea. I'm gonna try and do my best. Well, I'm going to make sure that I get this done. I'm not even gonna sit here and say I'm gonna do my best because I have, I have clearly have not been doing my best. Um, so I'm gonna start with um, why I took a break from YouTube. Um, first of all, I took a break because not only did I just move to Atlanta, but I was extremely overwhelmed. Um, I was extremely overwhelmed when I first moved here and I felt like I was losing control of like pretty much my life. Like a lot of the time, like the people that I've met so far out here, the genuine good people, um, they've all told me like, you know the same thing and it it always made sense to me more and more that i've been here um it's just been making so much more sense to me um why you have to remain humble when you're here i'm just going in with some setting powder because my skin is like being combination right now it's like it's being um oily but it's being dry at the same time so i don't want to say that i specifically like started to lose who I was, but I started to find myself in situations that I would never have found myself in. Um, for instance, um, I was in a very dangerous situation, probably the fourth week that I was in Atlanta. Um, I'm gonna talk about that briefly because I really don't wanna touch too much on it because it was a very, traumatizing situation but being that it's in the title clearly and i want to be able to make females be more aware of who they surround themselves especially when they come out here because there is so much like there is so much of a facade out here like people live like people live like they have to meet this crazy expectation out here and Honestly, if you come from somewhere where you've never had to live like that and then you and then you just come here and then you're like having to live like that or see people living like that because you don't have to live like that. You shouldn't have to feel like you have to force yourself into a lifestyle to be around people. And I've always told myself that like I will never come here and turn myself into somebody that I'm not like, you know. So anyways, 
I was dealing with somebody um, out here briefly. Um, we were like dealing with each other, like I wouldn't say dealing with each other, but we've we've been talking before I came here. Um, I'm making sure my camera's on, guys, because um, she might die. Oh my God, why does my eye look like I have a lazy eye? I hate it. I literally hate it. And my like, my damn, my damn iPad, like my freaking, whatever you want to call it that's recording me right now, it's like lagging on my iPad. So like, I, I just don't really know what's going on. So anyways, not to mention guys, I'm just getting over COVID. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm just getting over COVID. I literally, I just met the end of my quarantine date yesterday. So I'm like still, if I sound a little congested, um, that's why. So anyways, I was dealing with a guy out here um, that I was talking to before when I was back in New York and he was from, he's from New York and he mo recently moved out here too as well. So we finally decided to link up. Um, this was like, after my mom and my brothers came and then my dad. So, pretty much, he took me out to dinner. He took me out to dinner. And then after dinner, we were going to the movies to go see Candyman. Um, this was like right before Halloween time, so yeah. And then on his way, driving us back home, he was driving like ridiculously fast, okay? Um, I've never been in the car with somebody driving that fast. That's how fast he was driving. Um, so yeah, he was driving super fast and like he was driving fast. I'm not even gonna lie. He was driving fast the whole night. Like, and honestly, I think that's the thing down here like where people like guys, like high speed chases out here are normal. Like. As scary as that sounds, so he was speeding the whole night. But when we were when we were coming home, like this guy was driving ridiculously fast. Okay, it wasn't like we were arguing. Like he wasn't speeding home to drop me home because you know I wasn't gonna give him no coon. I mean, I wasn't gonna give him no coon. I still wasn't gonna give him no coon. But it wasn't like we were beefing or like you know like we had a good night. Okay, we had a good night. There was no like you know he wasn't mad about nothing. So this is why it just didn't add up to me either. Just as fast as he was going, guys, I honestly feel like we were going at least 130. 130 in a BMW on the Atlanta highway at like, the movie ended at like 12 o'clock, so it was like one o'clock at night. So just imagine that. We're going the speed of freaking light down the highway in Atlanta at one o'clock in the morning. And you guys know Atlanta doesn't sleep. So there's cars, okay, there's cars. So as he's going faster, I'm holding on, I'm literally gripping onto the seat. And that is honestly, that was one of my issues right there because had I known that I was feeling uncomfortable, had I known that I felt like my life was at stake, I should have instantly said, you're driving too fast. You need to slow down. I need to literally pull over on the highway and let me catch an Uber home. Me being, you know, unaware and not being smart about my surroundings and what I was getting myself into, I didn't say nothing and I let him, I just spit, and I just let him continue to, to be in control and drive us back, drive me back home. So, I'm going in with my Bobby Brown, by the way. Um, so, um, pretty much, we were literally an exit away, an exit away from my place. We crashed. And when I say crashed, like, we crashed so bad, we drove, we drove, we bounced off a metal pole because my thing is, I feel like he seen the exit at the last minute because he was driving so damn fast. Um, he seen the exit at the last minute and tried to switch gears and get into the lane with the exit. And by then it was too late. Oh, I hope this still matches me. We crashed, we hit a pole, then the car spent around. Now we're on the other side of the highway. So. Imagine us going this way. We're going this way, bouncing off a pole, turn, spin around going that way into moving traffic that's coming like, like 
it, it just didn't make no sense how we ended up on the other side. It was just so bad. The airbags exploded and all I could remember is, oh my God, oh my God, like it's over, like it's over, like your life, it, like it's done, like it's done. All I could really think, feel at the moment. I've never been that shook. I've never been that scared in my whole life. Um, I am so blessed, okay? I am so blessed to be protected, to be divinely guided because honestly, any other person who would have gotten into an accident like that, especially because of how severe it was and how how we crashed and then spent and then just just the way the car maneuvered, I am still I still don't understand. I mean, I understand because, you know, I am protected, but I really just couldn't believe that we made it out of that. Like it was so bad and then not to mention not to mention, let me tell you the icing on the cake. Not that I would want anybody to be hurt in the situation, but I, unfortunately, was the only one in this situation who got hurt. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of my foot. I'm gonna insert a picture of my foot. Um, that is what my foot looked like. Yeah, so I still don't understand how. I wore sandals that night, and it's so crazy because before we left, when he picked me up, I literally said, should I wear my sandals or should I wear my runners? And I don't know why I picked my sandals. It was a nice out, I don't know. So I picked my sandals and I hurt my foot pretty bad. It's honestly just now healing. Um, the bone was bruised extremely bad. Um, it's just now not feeling sore anymore. And we are in January. So that's a good like six months that I was literally uncomfortable. Like I couldn't wear heels this whole time um, just because of the simple fact that it hurt too much. Um, and then my breast, my left breast was bruised. And I have a mark as well on my thigh. I'm still not sure how or what like I feel like a, something in his car had to have exploded or some type of machinery in there had to have cut me or hit me or whatever the case may be because I have a lot of like bruises still on me that I just don't even know where they came from. The one on my breast was the one that I really noticed the most because it was really bad um, and I didn't notice it until like a couple days after. But um, oh, I'm not even doing my makeup, I'm just talking. So anyway, yeah, that was... That was a really scary situation for me. Um, I lost my phone in the midst of that. Um, I literally just got the 13. Did I get the 13? I think I just brought the, no. I literally just brought the 12 Pro Max. And um, fortunately, his car was totaled. So um, my phone was totaled in the midst of that too because I had it in my lap in the car and when we crashed, like, I just wish I could have took a picture or had some type of evidence to show you guys how bad it was. But just know it was extremely bad and the only person who saved me was God. Um, it's just really crazy to me. Like it is really crazy to me that um, we made it out of that. Um, I'm extremely grateful and that whole situation put so much into perspective for me. Like, first of all, who told you to be leaving the house? Who told you to be leaving the house? Who told you? And at this time, I don't even think I had, did I have my bed? No, I had my bed. I'm not even gonna play myself like that. I had my bed, okay, guys. But like, you know, like, I just moved here. Like, I didn't have any business going out with a guy that I barely knew. Like, you know, like, I just put myself in a situation that could have been avoided. I lost my phone, not to mention, the police officer, he said he wasn't able to bring me home because of some type of like judicial law. So he wasn't able to drop me off at home. So I ended up getting dropped off at a gas station. So I had to go to the gas station. I literally, and that's why I said like, I am so protected. Like I'm just so grateful that I have a mother who literally prays for me every single day. Like. No matter the circumstance because you know life can get ahead of you and like sometimes you can like neglect your relationship i mean for those of you who do like have a relationship with god or like you know have your own spiritual beliefs like honestly if my mom wasn't praying for me that night 
and it's so crazy because when I was on the phone with her before she went to bed she was like God bless you and like I just thought it was so random how she said it but like I didn't really pay any mind but honestly like I just can't even explain how like God was really with me that night in that situation because girl I, I, I would have been a goner um that you guys would have never heard from me I wouldn't even have been able to like give you no type of signs or message that you know like nothing like no type of like be able to show you guys like at least like what what came, what led to that like you know because I stopped vlogging so I couldn't even people wouldn't have even known nobody would have known okay nobody would have known um I didn't really speak about him to any of my friends um yeah like it was just really bad um I regret that situation happened but at the end of the day it put a lot of stuff in perspective for me it matured me so much um I have bottom lashes on guys, so I'm like trying not to mess with them. And my camera's dying. Amazing. So yeah. Um I learned a lot from that situation. I learned that you know you cannot just trust people in a city that you know is full of cappers, okay? It's capopolis out here, okay? It's very, very bad out here how much people cap and there's just a lot of people who just run, like they just run their whole lives. And he really could have got us into some even deeper shit just because, you know, um, in this situation also, he was armed and he wasn't supposed to be armed, apparently. Um, another thing I didn't know because I was being clueless. So yeah, like he just could have made shit way worse for us. Um, and that was my welcoming welcome to atlanta gift and honestly they could have kept that shit because i would never i would never have wanted that for myself especially just moving here and you know trying to get myself adjusted to the scenery and you know being open like i'm not usually open and it's funny because in new york i'm never open like that to where i just get into people's cars and like you know like i usually always drive myself to the function like i don't want to be in your car because i want to know that if i want to leave i can leave okay i don't like feeling like somebody's in control of where i'm going what i'm doing so that situation was like extremely you know it, it was a lot um i'm glad i can get past that but guys my message from all that is be cautious of your surroundings. Be smart. Don't allow your like don't don't allow yourself to be naive because you want to experience life. You can experience life and still be able to be on your guard, still be able to know what's right and what's wrong and to be able to spot out the red flags. Like you don't need to be in a situation like me where I literally almost lost my own life. Like literally and I, I i'm not exaggerating when i say that guys like this accent was extreme like it was extreme like and i can't trust enough like it's if it, i'm still shocked that we made it out alive i really want females to be more cautious when they're just meeting people especially off online and honestly that was enough for me that showed me like the guy, my dream guy, I'm not gonna find him on Instagram. He's not gonna hit me on Instagram. I don't wanna meet my soulmate. I don't wanna meet the, my soulmate or the guy who I end up being with online. Like, I've just come to the conclusion, like, I don't want that type of beef, okay? Oh my God, how do I do this? My freaking bottom lashes, I don't wanna mess them up. So that's the drama that happened my first month of being in Atlanta. Um. So what else do I need to put you guys on about? So, I took a break. I need to find that Nikki meme and put it in there. Me, I took a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest and now it's game time, bitches. <laughs> so, I took a break because another reason why I haven't been posting is because I had a creator's blog, I guess you can say. I really, um, didn't know what to post. I felt like um, also I was filming and I didn't even know what I was like. I didn't know where I was going with the filming. Like I would just pick up the camera one day and just film something random. And I just felt like 
you know it's not postable and and that's something else that i've been battling as well is um i guess you could say imposter syndrome would it be imposter syndrome i don't know but i'm having this issue where i don't feel like my content is good enough for youtube and i know i can't go in with that mindset because that'll only like make it harder for me to actually post and feel comfortable posting and just being able to express myself the way I want to be perceived on here. So I went through like a stage, well, I, I'm just getting out of this stage, I guess you could say. I'm just getting out of this stage where I don't feel like, you know, I can't be as original as I was before. Like. I miss being in my bedroom at my mom's and being able to just pick up the camera and be like, hey guys, like I'm about to get a new phone today um, and I'm gonna have hot chocolate after. Like, you know, just being, just being able to just do stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I allowed Atlanta to kind of mess with my mental a little bit. Um, I allowed it. I allow it to stop me from doing what I like to do. And then on top of that, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am in grad school. Um, I am still contemplating whether I'm going to be pursuing this in the long run. Um, but I've been in grad school. Oh my God, I'm getting makeup on my nails and I just got my nails done. I will flip if this shit doesn't come off. I will flip. So yeah, I'm in grad school. Um, I kind of wasn't going to mention that because I'm not, I'm not about to be the advocate for grad school. I'm not about to be the advocate for college in general because college, college is a scam. Um, I don't care what anybody says. It's a scam. Um, it's definitely a scam. It's something you do not. If you know that what you want in life isn't to be clocking into a machine every day, you should know now that college is a scam. And say what you want, that's how I feel. Um, college is a scam. And I honestly, I'm still trying to figure out if this is what I want or if this is what I'm allowing my parents to want for me again. And that's another thing that I should have been able to vocalize on my channel. I should have been able to talk about that. Um, but I felt like, you know, that wasn't post enough. Postable. I felt like I felt like I shouldn't post something like that because I felt like it wouldn't it wouldn't appeal to my my um, audience, um, the demographic that watches me. Um, I know a lot of the time on my channel, my most viewed stuff is like my sneaker hauls and stuff, and it's like I like doing those for you guys, but that's not. That's not just me. Like I have like I have a personality that I feel like does gets like neglected um 95 percent of the time of my life um i've just always felt like i've never had the chance to really express myself and for people to really see me as a person and like me as a person based off of my personality i mean obviously i have friends um but i just feel like i've not i've not been able to have people genuinely see me the way I want to be seen. Um, I definitely feel like that's another reason why I stepped back from YouTube as well. Um, but I told myself that this year, I'm going to do everything I want to do at its fullest. I'm just setting my face with some more Mercier before I contour. Um, so yeah, I am, I am slowly, you know going to go back into posting more vlogs i will still be doing um you know unboxing hauls and sneaker hauls and whatnot but it's, that's just that's not going to be the only thing you guys are going to be seeing on my channel sorry not sorry that's not what i want this channel to be um i don't want my channel to be an unboxing channel that's that um so what else so i know you guys are probably wondering like have I talked to that guy since that whole situation? No. 
we have not spoken. We don't have a reason to speak. Um, yeah, it's over. You're done. If I can't trust you to bring me home, um, he did um, reach out to me after the situation because he did get arrested that night. And um, I literally blocked him. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Sorry. I am so sorry. And my camera's on one bar. So um, let me finish doing my makeup. Um, I'm going to finish doing my makeup. And then I'll come back and talk to you guys a little more. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Um, I just finished my makeup. Um, this is how it ended up turning out. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, I I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to like. So there's been a lot of stuff that's just been going on. I definitely feel like um, I haven't been able to vocalize myself on YouTube the way I wanted to. I definitely feel like I haven't been able to express myself the way I wanted to to you guys. Um, I'm dealing with a lot of like just internal battles that, that I'm trying to isolate myself from so that I can be the version of myself that I want to be this year. Um, I want to give you guys content way more frequently, weekly. Um, being able to be myself and just be comfortable being myself is what I really want. So. I made a promise that this year I'm going to put way more effort into not only my YouTube, but putting more effort into myself. Um, stuff like this, like being able to just do my makeup and I'm going to get Juicy Crab right now. I'm not going nowhere special. I'm literally going to Juicy Crab to get crab legs. Like doing the little things that can actually help me feel better. Um, I'm really just in the middle of trying to figure out who I want to be and I feel like I can't hold myself back from anything but at the end of the day I have to be smart when it comes to exactly what I want so I'm definitely still dating I'm just not doing online dating also another thing that I want to update you guys about is I am going to be posting the footage that I have recorded from when I first moved to Atlanta um, I was debating on posting it just because I don't really know if I wanted to post like old stuff being that like you know I am so like I'm six months into living out here, you know? Like, I really didn't, am I six months? I'm five months into living out here, okay? So, I didn't wanna sit here and give you guys old footage, but at the end of the day, I have to allow myself to let people access me and know me personally the way I want them to know me, and there's no other way of doing that by showing you guys the real tea, uh, the raw footage. So. Um, my next couple of videos will be footage from some maybe from September, some maybe from August, some maybe from yesterday. Like you guys are gonna get what I get. So it's either you take it or you leave it, okay? There's not no if, ands, or buts. Um, so I'm gonna be posting um footage from pretty much since I moved to Atlanta and the next couple of vlogs I will se um separate them, but just stay tuned for that. Um, just so you guys know. And show support. This camera, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this footage. I just have a feeling, I have a feeling, but it's, it's too bad, too bad. I don't know if it's because the lights are low or what the case may be, but anyways, um, I am going to be posting that footage. What else? Um, I'm not pregnant. People are probably assuming that too, why I haven't been posting, I'm not pregnant. I have a little pregnancy scare, but I'm not pregnant, so don't be thinking I'm pregnant, okay? I'm not pregnant. Um, what else? And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. There's a lot to come this year. I'm definitely going to be updating you guys more. And I'm going to be working on trying to find a way to edit so that it's easier for me. I'm really having this issue where I have all this footage, but I can't seem to convert it onto my iMovie to where I have space, to where it's just easier for me to edit and give you guys content. And that was one of the main reasons why I wasn't posting as well, because I would film on my phone I will film on my phone and then iPhones are weird now with like iCloud and like whatever the case may be like if you edit if you do YouTube you know that if you have a video on your phone and it's from like four months ago it's gonna take a minute just for it to download then sometimes it won't even if you try and send it to yourself it won't even send directly to yourself it'll send as like an iCloud link and then it'll say it will expire in a couple days like it's just very obnoxious editing and I'm trying to find ways that I can edit quicker so that I can 
be able to deliver in a timely fashion. Like there's no reason I should have footage from August, September, October, and I haven't been able to give it to you guys because some is in my phone, the other half is on my camera. Like it's just, it's overwhelming. And that's what I mean by like being overwhelmed by this YouTube thing because it's hard. Like it's really hard when you're, especially when you're doing it by yourself, like when you're your own team. So, and my lip gloss is uh, dripping cute real cute so yeah um, I'm definitely going to work on that um and yeah I think that's pretty much it guys um I really hope you guys enjoy this video I know it's like kind of all over the place because that's literally my life all over the place um I yeah I just I want to deliver this year and that's the goal I have a lot planned I have a lot that I want to share with you guys and bring you guys along with me to do so I just, I wanna work towards that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much, bye.